Oh uh, yeah, we yeah we yeah we came in. We we planned a free day, but like after the disappointment, it was not even like to punish them, and it was not. The, it was normally a free day. And of course, maybe some felt like it's a punishment, but it wasn't because it was not the moment for a free day. I explained them even it's 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 better to be together and to talk about it than to to go and and everybody has his own opinion. Everybody has its own truth. And and like um, you have like maybe more risk to be in fragments than than to be here. So we did here very, very light training. We just had a, had a run together and spent uh, time together and discussing things how we want to approach the next days. That was actually why we brought everybody together to have the chance to be together then a lot of players supported the under 23 on on the other pitch which was very nice to see and actually it was what what we are like a, a very supportive a very open-minded uh, group of players and that what uh, that's what it felt like on Sunday and that was the what was the Sunday morning for it was not to to punish them was not to show uh, do a video um session and and show all the mistakes and and maybe the behavior where we could have done better none of it it was just to 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 be together and actually not to not to be like in in, in live in different tru- uh, groups and different uh, and be away from each other on a on a on a free day so that was uh, that's why we we put everybody in yeah but after the <clears throat> after the end of the match and the, the the result and the late equalizer we had some other stuff to talk about and to think about unfortunately so nothing has changed for us here at at Cobham um we're still waiting for the confirmation waiting for things to progress to hopefully have have uh, have news for you and have of course news for us and for the team to inject some positive uh, some positive energy sure i mean we're the only club in the moment who suffers like this and maybe the first club who ever did this so it is a situation that is unique and it's a situation that is um, quite challenging and of course everybody hopes uh, for the situation to be clarified and to be of course these, these are steps in the right direction and and uh, we're waiting for it since since uh, long time because we need we need the positive um, the positive uh, energy and we need uh, the the competitive atmosphere also as a club and uh, yeah that's why it's very very important and things uh, progress yeah it has for sure i don't think we never we n- i think there's no 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 sense in hiding from the fact that it is a distraction and it's a matter of like how to which level can we still live up even if we are distracted uh, distracted or like worried or like disadvantaged by it and we did uh, excellent until the national break. It was like it had no no effect in in terms of of results. It it had like almost the opposite effect that we felt very strong like during during the difficulties and during the um, the announcement and and the sanctions in in place. Um, and then maybe something also very human and and normal uh, took place like in the moment of two weeks. Uh, off like or like one week off but the players were were not here they were like also different influences to them and uh, maybe more thoughts about the the situation in general and the situation is now very very long and and uh, the players also want to feel competitive they want to know what's going on next season the guys who yeah you know some some a player like tony decided then to to change the club so there's yeah with every day it gets a bit more difficult it's not impossible but it gets more difficult and it has an influence and and still we are looking for reaching the level that we are still competitive and and can win games so it's still no excuse but it is for sure a reason